All right, everybody, welcome back. Thank you for stopping by, I appreciate it. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys what a lollipop device is, as you can see here. Not your typical standard device where you would normally have something like wires coming out of the back of the device like this. Um, a lollipop device, I don't know if it's specifically for hospitals, but I know we use them pretty much 100% of the time, if not 99.9% um, .9 of the time where we're working. Um, but as you can see, it has this little pigtail right here, this little plastic piece that unscrews from the back. Um, if you've seen one of my electrician's video shorts, then you know that you can have this live with the circuit turned on and you can plug this in. It'll be instantly hot and ready to go. Or if the device is bad and dies down the road, weird noises. If this dies down the road, you can just simply come in here, pull out the device, switch out the device and put it back in without even turning on the circuit off. Don't really recommend leaving the circuit on, but it's definitely something that you could do. Um, so these are the lollipops right here. Um, they do come in different styles. I don't really have any of the other styles, but this is just the normal receptacle right here um, with the hot ground and neutral. They do come in um, receptacle form, switch form, three-way switch form, um, even just the GFCI um, switches, if you remember when we did the remodel in the, um, well, maybe that one wasn't, I'm not sure, but I think they also come in the GSCI switch lollipops. Um, I think that that was one that we used inside of the, um, doctor's lounge, uh, remodel from a few weeks ago. But the cool thing about these lollipops is the fact that, like I said, um, well, actually I haven't said it yet, but what I like about it is the fact that, um, like if you're in residential, then you know that um, you can have a circuit coming in and out of a receptacle, kind of like this. Um, you can have like a neutral coming in and neutral coming out, hot coming in and hot coming out. So you can run a circuit through a receptacle or a switch or whatever you want it to be, mostly receptacles, but you can run a circuit in and out of a receptacle, which I don't recommend. I don't like it. I don't like when companies recommend that but some do. Um, but the cool thing about the lollipops is that they pretty much have to be, um, they pretty much have to be pigtailed into a circuit. As you can see, there's some lollipops right here. Um, so the cool thing is they pretty much have to be tied in to the circuit. So they're always going to be on. So if one of these dies, then the whole circuit doesn't die or the rest of the receptacles or whatever you're using doesn't die down the road. So technically, if this one died right here and it was tied in line with this one, as you can see that it is, but if it was just a, a normal receptacle with an in and an out, and this was the next one down the line, if this one died, then this, would, this one would also not work. Um, but the cool thing about the lollipops is that, like I said, they basically have to be tied into the circuit with a wire nut. So if this one dies, then this one's not gonna die. This one's still gonna be on. The, the individual receptacle or whatever you're using is just gonna die by itself. And the rest of the circuit is gonna to continue to work, which is great because for troubleshooting and stuff like that, and now I've dealt with situations where someone didn't plug the, um, like there's been a loose neutral wire, a loose ground wire, whatever the case is. If you mess one of these up with a circuit coming in and out of the receptacle or device, then it's gonna be like half an hour minimum to multiple hours of troubleshooting. So the great thing about always tying in your circuits with wire nuts, um, even if you're not using lollipops, just with a normal device, whether that be a receptacle or switch or whatever, the great thing about the, the great thing about tying the devices into the uh, wire nuts is that the rest isn't gonna die and it's gonna save tons and tons of time on troubleshooting so that's what i really like about this and it's just safer and it's quicker um, so normally these come in little packages uh, little plastic packages obviously this one is used um, but it has like a little plastic over it and it's kind of sealed so it indeed looks like a lollipop which is where it gets its name so the great thing about this is you basically just go to your your box wherever that may be um, you have a box over here you have your wires in it. You basically just wire nut on your ground 
neutral and you're hot and then it's ready to go you come back you don't put the device in so you leave the device off until it comes back for trim time the great thing is they're packaged and they're ready to go so basically if a sheet rocker or a painter comes along and they spray over it it's not a big deal it's protected with the plastic um, and then all you do is come back on trim time rip off that plastic and you got your brand new clean uh, piece right here and all you do is snap it in like so just give it a click and then you're ready to go you just screw it in and then you're done so it's really nice for um, trim time and stuff like that um, it saves a lot of work so basically you can get everything pretty much done and then once everything is sheetrock painted and textured and all that good stuff then all you do is plug in the device and screw it to the wall it's really nice um, but if you do lose the plastic um, if you do lose the plastic cover and this basically gets sheetrocked or textured or paint inside of it then it's pretty much trash and you have to start over i don't really think there's going to be much way of digging out that stuff inside of it um, so that is a downside so basically make sure that the paper doesn't come off or if it does come off you can put like a piece of electrical tape around it or maybe a plastic bag or just anything to cover it a couple of wraps of tape should do the trick um, but that's one cool thing about the lollipops like i said there's different types um, this one is a USB device lollipop right there. Still has the uh, ground neutral and hot. I don't really have any switch lollipops right now. Basically just the normal receptacle ones with the ground neutral and hot. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Just a cool little thing if you've never seen them before. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. As of right now, I think I'm about seven subscribers away from 16,000. So if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be doing a giveaway here like tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, like I said, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button. It would help out the channel. I'd appreciate it. I'd love to see you guys back in the next video. That's going to do it for this one. God bless. Have an awesome rest of the day. Peace.